Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes included on Windows 10 Build 21343. These new changes are available through the dev channel and while they are not tied to any specific version of Windows 10, most of these changes are expected to arrive with version 21H2 when it ships during the second half of 2021. So let's have a closer look at the new features and changes in this flight. Perhaps the most worthy changes are found in File Explorer. Since the application is getting new modern icons using the fluent design style language that Microsoft has introduced several years ago. These new icons are everywhere, but there are many icons that still need to be updated, which Microsoft said that will happen over time. For instance, on Build 21343, you will find new icons for the profile folders such as desktop, documents, pictures, videos, and others, which now have a new style and colors that should help to make it easier to identify the folders at a glance, as you can see right here. So this is how they look using the large size, and this is how they look on the extra large size. So now let's switch to medium so you can see how they look like. Small, and on a list. As you can see, not only the folders are getting new icons, but other elements. As you can see in the ribbon, we can see now that we have new icons for the different options. Even the folder options has a new icon. If you click that, they will also show that on folder options, we get new icons. If you go to the network, you will see new icons to represent computers. And if we go to this PC, we also are going to find new icons for the main drive that includes a Windows badge and for disk drives and secondary storage. Windows 10 build 21343 even includes new icons for the default folders and for compressed folders. Furthermore, we even getting a new icon for Recycle Bin. And also, as you can see, the icon to represent a shortcut has also been updated. After clearing the Recycle Bin, it didn't update the shortcut, but as you can see right here, that's how the Recycle Bin empty looks like. Outside File Explorer, you can also find the new icons if you go to, let's say, turn Windows features on and off. As you can see, that has a new icon too. As you can see, we also have the new icons on the experience. But as you can see, it still needs some touches because it doesn't align correctly with the check mark. So that should hopefully be updated in future releases of Windows 10. So let's do this. Let's right click this icon and then go to properties. And then we go to change icons. And here we can see all the new icons that Microsoft is shipping right now on Windows 10 Bill 21343. As you can see, there are many, they're new, and we can still see some of the legacy icons, which hopefully they will get updated in future updates. In other places where you can also find the new icons, it's in the uh, context menu for folders or the desktop. So when you right click to open the context menu, for example, when you go to give access to, you will find the new icons also present there and here too. And when created a new folder, shortcut or compressed folder. This flight also updates support for renaming files in File Explorer to use, for example, control left and control right to move the cursor between words in the file name and control delete and control backspace to delete one word or one letter at a time. In other parts of the operating system, such as the network flyout, we now get a new icon for the network and that is just to match the iconography that Microsoft has already implemented on Windows 10 and we have seen on the settings app, like you can see right here and on the start menu. Talking about the uh, start menu on build 21343, you will now notice 
that the Windows Administrative Tools folder has been renamed to just Windows Tools. And Microsoft is planning to add new changes in the future. And that's basically all the uh, new changes included on Windows 10, build 21343. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.